Welcome! For this tutorial, we're going to talk about dynamic spelling. Now, we can activate that if you go to your Preferences, which is either Command-K, or if you go down here to InDesign Preferences, you want to go to Spelling, and here's where you toggle it on or off. And you can change some colors, and saying misspelled words in red, repeated words uncapitalized, and you can tell it what to find. And usually I pick all of those. Okay, so now dynamic spelling is on. Put my cursor in a text box and start typing. Say I misspelled that, uh, words that, and I want to put my name in there. Okay, so. Obviously, the red underline is saying that you have a misspelled word. Now, all you have to do is hover over the word and right-click, and it'll give you common proper spellings for that word. Click on that. It, now, this time it went to green because it senses it's at the beginning of a sentence. If I right-click again, it's asking for capitalization. And now I'm clean. If I go over here for words, there we go. And it's a great way as you're typing. Now, this here, click over that. And it doesn't really know because it's not in my dictionary. So if I put in Mike and then select that word, go to Edit, Spelling, User Dictionary. There the word is there. I can add that to my user dictionary. So then anytime I type that word, it will be spelled properly. Or it'll at least prompt me to spell it properly. Really good if you have a lot of custom words, like you know, the name of our company, or Chevrolet, or something like that, so you're not always being prompted for that spelling. So that's the basics of dynamic spelling.